Hey guys, Grease Monkey 34 here. Come to you with a video about my 96 Ford F250 with the 7.3 liter turbo diesel. So today, uh, one of my U joints are gone on the driver's side front tire. So we're going to be replacing that. So yeah, I got to take off the good old 35 to get out the bad U joint under here. She's a clanking in there. There's a good like half inch room of clank. So she's been gone for a while. So I get some jacks out here and jack this side up and start taking this side apart. Well, the first step to block the tires, as so. Second step, jack it up. I got two jacks on because one not enough to support this size of truck. I got my special socket to fit on the special lug nuts. And uh, time to take them out with the impact. Okay, I got the lug nuts off. The tires should be just sitting there. Oh, you ain't lift these tires. They're so heavy. I do have my uh, spacer ring on there, but I can just stay on there. I just need to get into this hub. Take out, take out the parts and then take out the brake. And the whole thing should just slide right off. To take off the hub, you just need some uh, six Allen keys. Take that off and take out the brake. I think it's a, a star. I oh know, it's a big uh, six point. So I take these off, one on the bottom, one on the top. Move the brake up on the leaf spring. And uh, yeah, then the whole thing just slide out. Well, when you remove this bolt and this bolt, the whole uh, brake assembly can come right off. So I'm gonna lift it up and put it over there. As you can see, it is off. And uh, yeah, it mounts to here and here. So now, I'm going to do that little screw there and take out this uh, spline assembly. Now, when you got outside cover off and the gear, the spline gear, there's like a, a ring around the entire thing here. Yeah, take that off to get to the inner one. Now all I do to get this ring out is just take the small screwdriver to pry it out carefully. And we just uh, take a nice little spin around. And take it out like a lock in the ring. And I took out that other little clip there. So now the whole thing just slides right out after. I pulled this out. Okay. Now there, there is a uh, locking nut. The two of them in there. I don't know if you can see with the teeth. And all you do is take a, and you can get a special tool. Unloosen that. And then the whole thing just pulls right out. Well guys. I had to take a half inch breaker bar. I had a, I had a tool for another project. I forgot what this is called but. I did well with some tabs to make it work for this project, so it just slips, slip right on there, and you just unscrew it. Oh, sorry. All it is is a big nut. So, as you can see, big nut, and it fits right on there, perfect. So, next we get that little uh, washer out, a big washer, I mean, but so all nice and loose on there. Make sure you don't drop it. On the ground, because the bearings will fall out. So, I just try to be careful here. Oh, yeah, it's heavy. So, that went it off. So, now I got that off. Now I'm going to take this plate off and uh, get everything off. Well, after you loosen all the bolts, and most of you. Grab it and take a couple of yanks with a ha uh, pull with a hammer. Wax with a hammer. And then it's off. Now what it looked like. And now you got to the axle and look at that. How bad that is. 
got some clunkiness in there. So now I don't have to take nothing else out. It's nothing else out. I just pulled the axle. And yeah, replace it with the new one. Well guys, she's out. She's a real short axle. And yeah, look at the play. Yeah, I can't have that. So I got a new one here. This is a pretty good brand. So, I put that sucker in and see how it is. Got to pull it, take these clips out. It come with new clips. And uh, this this one got a grease nipple. The old one doesn't, so I can grease it and make it last longer. Okay, guys, got it all ready. I got the new joints all cleaned up. And I got the, this one over here. I took the wire wheel to it, very nice, and uh, cleaned it all up, all the grease and mud off it. And the rust, so the inside races are nice and clean and smooth. Just gonna lose a little bit of like WD-40 and make it go into nicer, but yeah. That's the only thing I'm gonna be losing. Now I'll take the ca end caps off, shove the two in at a time, and put the end cap back on. You take the end caps off carefully. Set it off to the side. Same with uh, this side. Nice and careful. Tons of grease in there. And put it in like this. Okay. Now we take that out. Put the end cap back on carefully. One on the top, one on the bottom. Give it a nice little squeeze. Make sure everything lines up. And then we give it a nice little uh, pressy press, but we got no press here. So we're going to give it a tappy tap with a, a hammer and a nice socket to fit nice on there. Just 22 millimeter socket. 22 millimeter socket, make it fit nice. Make sure you put this on a solid surface. Put it on a nice solid surface. And give it a nice little tappy tap in. Now we put the clip in, these clips here, you get two, two in a pack, take some need no players. Put them in there and let it go. And let it sit in that lip and flip it to the other side. There we go. That side done, and I'm gonna take that U joint and shove it on. Do the same with this. And put them back in. Just enough so we can get our clips in. Flip nice. That's what you want. You don't want um, this gap in here. You want that nice and uh, split apart. So just like that. Okay, guys, I got the axle shoved in. I just took some uh, grease, shoved it on the spline, just shoved it in. It's pretty easy to shove in there. Next, I'm going to put some uh, silicone around this area, around there, and around that axle tube, and then uh, shove that on and bolt it back on.
Well guys, before I put this on, uh, make sure you packed the needle bearings in there. Nice and uh, greased up. And we just slide it on and put the five bolts on. And that's it there. Well we got it nice and greased up. Doesn't matter how much grease, grease you put on, but make sure you got a lot on there. And now I uh, figure out how to put this thing on. Okay, let's try to lift this guy up there. You look like in good condition still. I'll put it back in for now. Nice big stick club I got. Okay, so she's all packed in there. You can see you really got that, a lot of grease in there. So now we're going to take our two uh, rings and uh, put them back on. And you only want it to like a, not to wobble at all, but still not tight. Then once you got the first nut in there, you got your locking ring and then you got your second nut. So don't do it, don't do it too tight or you won't be able to rotate this. You want to just have a little like a little bit of a play. But just a little bit. Nothing serious. Okay guys, got the nuts on. And then, the, then just a little tiny bit of wobble egg. Like a hair. So that's all you need. Don't want to do it too tight or it'll bind up. And now we're gonna put the locker back in. It's just that lock in the spline and the ring and the clip. Well guys, when you got the clip in and the ring around here to hold everything together, then uh, we just had to we just have to put the spring and the sprocket back on <coughs> and uh, put the cap back on. Make sure you got a little bit of grease in there. You don't want it bone dry. Okay guys, it all back together. And by turning this, it locks it, and it'll spin the axle, I mean drive shaft. So, and to unlock it, you turn it that way. And that even free the spin. Well, yeah. Gonna have to pull the brake back on, because we need brakes. Okay guys, got the brakes back on. So I get that big tire back on, that big 35. Okay guys, got the wheel back on. Got her torque back down to spec. So everything good to go. Right now it's minus eight out, so not too bad. So let's see if she is fire up. Okay, ready to start? Come on, okay. Well, that's how to replace the U joint in on a 96 Ford F250. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.